Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we are venturing around with a blue-green deck, uh, some new cards, and some returning cards as well. Uh, but before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. The link will be down below. Uh, today, we are going through Desert Dwellers. Uh, and of course, our, our good old prince is Eaton, Exiled Prince. Our champion, once per turn, pay one, sacrifice the unit you control, pay, put into play one air unit from your hand where it costs is one is greater than the sacrifice unit. So it easily just plays your bigger dudes. Simple as that for super cheap. And then our new spirit here is actually Tux, the Emperor Spirit. So when a unit you control destroys a tower, you may draw a card, then discard a card, which is pretty nice to be able to loot for your better cards. And then Soul Burst, here's a new one. Pay three, Soul Burst, which is flip them face down, stun all units your opponent controls. A stun card cannot attack, block, or use activated abilities until the end of the next turn. So, therefore, if you need that dude just not to be able to block or do what you need to, just stun them, win the game, hopefully. Yeah. And once you get to that where all the towers are destroyed, you don't really need them anymore. So, being able to Soul Burst that and win is okay. Uh, the first major unit of the deck is the Sand Sea Scorpion. It is one for a 500 and it's got ruined. You, whenever it dies, you may give target unit negative 1,000. So it is the first the first desert dweller we have. Yeah. And the fact that it can kill a 1,500 for one is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Next one is Skyship Engineer. It's a one drop 1,000, so you can start destroying those towers immediately. Exhaust, return this card to the owner's hand, and if you do, the airship unit costs one less to play this turn. Probably not going to use it in this deck, but she is a one drop 1000 that can kill most towers. Yep. Uh, next up is Maiden of Leviathan. It is two for 1500. Arrive, you may flip one of your towers face up. And then if you have two or more towers face up, you draw a card. This girl is one of the best cantrips in this game just because yeah. she is free low extra cards. Extra cards, and she's really big mm -hmm. for sure. Next one is Sky Tree Hawk. It's a two drop 1000. When this card is returned to your hand from the field, you may discard this card and draw two cards. So there you go. Pretty awesome. Next up is the Great Hawk of Cloud Sea. He is three for a fifteen hundred. He arrives. If you have a destroyed air tower, or if there is a destroyed air tower, you can exhaust target unit and return another target unit to its owner's hand. So if you have two of these, you just get to be like, hey, that, that tap all your dudes. Yeah, pretty much. This is a staple in green and air forever. Just always play this card, no matter what. Yeah, because almost always an air tower is going to be killed, and you just get to be like, hey, cool, tap that dude, bounce that dude. Yep. Uh, all right, we have one of the new dudes, Nanatsu, the Storm Surger Squire. It's a three drop, 2000 instant cast Storm Surger. Uh, once per turn, expel an air unit and water card from your discard zone, exhaust target unit, and if you do recover one of your shards, use his ability only if opponent has three or more destroyed towers. Now, I do believe this is the promo that came in the loot box, and He's pretty, he's pretty awesome. The fact that you don't really see insta-cast on dudes that much, you yeah. really surprise the opponent. Yeah, he seems pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, next is one of the returning ones. It is Sylphia, the Spirit of Air. She is a four drop, 2500 bird. It is a legendary elemental. Um, arrive, choose even or odd. Your opponent places all of the units with chosen cost at the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. Yeah. So this card was on the ban list for a very long time, but they finally took it off. And we're gonna we're gonna make sure we use her again because she's good. Just so strong. The fact that it puts at the bottom of the deck and not into their hand or on top of their library from the draw, it's just like get rid of them forever. Yeah, put them at the bottom. The likelihood of them getting them again is very very low. All right, we're bringing uh, Nanatsu the pure shinobi. He has his little pet this time. It's a four drop twenty five hundred. Arrive for each destroyed tower. Place one counter on this card. Exhaust. Remove one counter from this card. Exhaust target unit. And then exhaust four, remove four counters from this card, destroy target unit, and if you do, switch up to two of your shards to active until on the turn. So it's pretty good, pretty cute, and it, it can be very powerful if you get it late game for sure. Mm -hmm. Next is Garga, the Keeper of Gales. He has five for 3,000. Uh, he arrives, you choose a cost. Return all units to the chosen cost in the owner's hand if two or more units are returned with to the hand with this effect. This card gains quickness. Yeah. So again, another one where you're like, hey, let's choose even on the first one and choose odd on this one. So you clear your board. Get out. Yeah. Or definitely choose the cost. Be like, yeah. But yeah, just four turn, four drop, remove those dudes. Oh, five, five drop? Oh, let's remove some more dudes. Yeah. And swing. Thanks. Uh, next one is Hana, the Reformed Apprentice. 
It's a five drop 2500. All right, put into play a water elemental token that's a 500 with a rune. Return target unit to its owner's hand. Now this is just to fill up your board and then swing in the little dude into something and then bounce something that's very important. Uh, next up is the Scorpion Emperor. He is six for a 3,000. All right, you put into play two Scorpion units with uh, ruined. They may deal one or they give target dude minus 1,000. Yep. And the thing with these late game dudes, like most of your guys will probably be dead because of all the games. And then late game, you draw these big guys and they just fill the board up quickly for you. Especially with Hidden Dragon of the Cloud Sea. It's a seven drop, but there's more. 3,500. Arrive if you played at least two other cards this turn, put into uh, two Cloud Dragon tokens, which have 1,000 and they have quickness. But it's kind of hard to do when it's a seven drop. But if you pay three, discard this card from your hand. Put into a play dragon, uh, a cloud dragon that's 1,000 and has quickness. So end of turn, you can discard this and have a, a unit to swing in for the win, or just on your turn as well. Mm -hmm. So simple as that. Now we'll go into the spells. Uh, the first spell we have is the Ancient Serpent's Breath. It is a staple blue card. Yep. It is one mana insta cast as additional cost to play this card. You may shard drain one. If you do, return target unit to the top of its owner's deck. And its other ability is return target unit two or less to its owner's hand, then its owner draws a card. Yeah. Simple as that. It's the cheapest way to remove two dudes and it just yeah. it pushes the game in your favor most of the time. Next one is Phantasmal Guards because it's super powerful as well. It's one drop. Put two illusion tokens on the uh, play with Guardian, 500. Those cannot attack, but you don't need them to attack. You're just there to fill the board and help you get to the late game. Next up is Hurricane Shot. It is two for an insta cast spell. As additional cost to play this card, return a unit, air unit from the field to your hand. Destroy a target unit with four or less cost. Yep. So get your bird back or the two drop dude that lets you draw a card or two when it comes to your hand. Done. Next one is Omega Magic Kaze. It's two drop insta cast. If you have two or more, two or less towers remaining, this card costs zero to play, which is amazing. And this target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn. Draw a card. This is just to help you survive that one last turn to win. Mm -hmm. Or you can trick them if you make them swing in your dude and you're like, hey, you don't deal damage now. Yeah, thanks. So, sorry, thanks, my dude kills you, thank you. All right, of course, the Ghost of the Shards, we have the Argent Shard. We have the Cryptic Crystal, which is the blue special one. So it comes into play and uh, look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order, which really helps out. And of course, we have to have the Spirit Ruby. Because it's the legendary shard that kills a dude. Yeah, I mean, it's just free kill dude. Like, always good. Uh, it's the best, for sure. Uh, but that is the deck of uh, Desert Dwellers. The deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.